what's going on today guys so in this video I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to build my pond um, I'm going to be kind of looping it around these trees right here and right where these uh, these pat, um, paver stones are that's going to be where the new pond is the main part of it so it's going to kind of you'll see it once it's uh, actually put in but it's going to kind of be like a big portion right here and it's going to kind of branch off to underneath this little patio area right here so it'll be kind of a big loop almost like a teardrop kind of thing but uh other than that i'm gonna go ahead and pick up some some uh, tarp some liner and then some i'm gonna go get some gravel and then some more paver stones all right so i got my tarp it's a uh, 12 foot by 24 foot i know you guys are gonna say that this isn't a pool or a pond line or anything like that it'll work for what I'm doing I'm not trying to have a massive amount of fish in here I'm trying to keep the water in there um, so other than that this will work perfectly I'm just gonna cut around the edges after I put some cobblestone around it or something like that um, it's a heavy-duty one so no rocks will rip through it but uh yeah let's go ahead and get started digging all right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move some of these pavers I'm going to spray paint the kind of outline of what I want the shape of the pond to be and then I'll get back to you guys and start digging. Alright, so as you guys can tell, I got all the pavers out. I'm going to be reusing those, so I'm going to put those to the side for right now. I also trimmed back some of the hedges just to make nothing hanging over on the pond, but uh, should be good from here. Go ahead and start spray painting the outline of the, where I want the pond to be, and we'll go ahead and start digging. All right, so here's kind of my general idea. Um, I kind of wanted a little stream to go up there, maybe put some rocks, a little shallow, more shallow area um, for the smaller fish to run up there and hide if they want to. But uh, this is going to be kind of the main deeper area right here. It should be easier to dig up because there's not any exposed grass. So I'm going to go ahead and start wetting the stuff down and start digging. All right, it's gonna be kind of hard to see, but uh, I got all the edges dug out. <coughs> got it all loaded in the back of my truck, so we can go dump it somewhere. But uh, I'm gonna actually reuse some of that stuff for the outside border. Other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the middle now. Alright, so I just got done digging. I'm gonna go ahead and lay the tarp over top and then uh, start filling it up with water. I might smooth it out a little bit more, but uh, yeah, the next thing you'll see is it filling up with water. Here's all the dirt that I got out. Doesn't seem like much right there. And it, I know it doesn't look very good right now, but it will once the water's in there and the tarp's down. Kind of even everything out, but uh, made sure the ground was level. So, other than that, let's go ahead and start filling it up. So it looks like I am going to have to build some kind of barricade right here, like some dirt or whatnot, um, just because the ground's unlevel and uh, it's flowing out down here. So in order to fill that little tiny river spot up there, I have to put a barricade right here.
All right, so this is gonna be it for today. Got all the water put in. Um, I'm gonna let it see how much drains out over here and see if I have to add some more. But um, other than that, we're gonna pick up some gravel and some other cool pond stuff. I'll catch you guys in the morning. All right, it's the next day now. I actually cut out that little area. Didn't work out, it was too high up. So uh, we're just gonna use this little area as a pond. Um, I've already got some rocks going. I, mean, I got a bunch of rocks around my house, so we're just gonna use these to border around the, the outside of the pond. We'll cut out the excess so it doesn't look too bad, and then we're gonna mulch it in after that as well. I got some rocks going right here. If this isn't enough, I got some more where that came from, so it's not too big of a deal. Not quite sure what I'm gonna do with these pavers yet, but we'll figure out something for it. Um, I still need to get some, some pebbles or some rocks or gravel or something like that, so we'll figure that out as we go. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start laying those down. Alright, so I just got the rest of the rocks put in. I'm gonna go ahead and head to uh, Tractor Supply or Lowe's or something, pick up some pebbles, and then pick up some mulch. We'll be good to go after that. Alright, so I got a mixture of uh, pea pebbles and pond pebbles, just to give it a little contrast. Um, they didn't have much of a selection for mulch, so I'm just gonna use the pebbles for the outer ring around the, the bigger rocks, so. And we go ahead and do some weed killer around here to kill all the, the grass around here. It's almost it's almost fall, so it won't matter too much, it'll grow back in the spring. But uh other than that, we go ahead and start laying these down. So as I'm filling up this pond with pebbles, I'm gonna go ahead and let this hose run out just to um, get all the fogginess out of the water because these pebbles have mud on them. It'll be good for the pond anyways. It should be clear here in about like an hour or two. <laughs> Alright, so I got everything put in. I'll go ahead and let this water clear up and I'll come back to you guys and show you what it looks like. I should have grabbed a net whenever I was at a tractor supply, but I never did, so uh, yeah, it's alright. We'll get one later just to get the leaves and stuff out, but uh, this water should clear up in about an hour or two. I got all the pea gravel covering the, uh, the tarp underneath. I used the brown side of the tarp because I knew it was going to be you know, brown, so it wouldn't show as bad, but uh, there'll be some spots in the tarp that'll show, but not too bad, but uh, yeah. Let you guys know whenever it's done. Alright, so it's about an hour later now. We're good. I cut off the water already, scooped out some of the leaves. Um, probably gonna end up needing to buy another bag of pebbles, but uh, just like the edges and whatnot. But overall, it looks really cool. I'm gonna be doing another video here in a little bit. After the water gets purified and everything, I'm gonna get, get a filter put in here pretty soon. Um, I'm going to go pick that up off Amazon. Probably going to order that today. But other than that, that's pretty much where I'm going to wrap it up for this video. I'll do a video on installing the filter and uh, putting some fish in here. Hopefully some frogs are, are still... Hopefully some frogs will start popping up here and there. And tadpoles in a few days. But, uh, yeah, that's going to pretty much wrap it up. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all enjoyed.